Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can chart our min, max, and average values for a couple different variables. So we're going to display these in somewhat of a box and whisker type graph, but we're going to use a line chart to do that. So here we've got a couple different variables, and each of these has a minimum, maximum, and average value, and then we want to display all five of these on one chart in a nice graphical way that's going to allow us to see these ranges. So let's select our data and let's go up to the insert tab and we're gonna use the line chart and we wanna use this one here with some markers on it. Let's bring this up here and just make it a little bit bigger. And the first thing we need to do is we're gonna get rid of all these lines so if I select the first one and right click and let's format that data series and let's go up to the format section here and with our line selected, we're going to select no line. And we're also going to do the same thing with these two other lines here. And the next thing we're going to do is for the markers, we're going to set these to a built-in marker. And for the max and min one, we're gonna use this little square here that's on a diagonal. Let's select our max series here and set that one to built-in as well. And let's select our average series. And for that marker, we're gonna use a built-in square and we're going to bump that up in size a little bit as well so maybe eight for that and now let's select our chart and we're going to add a chart element so up in the chart design tab chart elements and we're going to add some lines so we're going to connect these with a line and that's found here under lines and high low lines let's add that in and now we can easily see that these three dots here on our plot are related. Now let's also add some data labels. Let's go up to this plus sign here and add in some data labels and we're going to put them on the right. And then we can get rid of our axis here and let's also get rid of these grid lines. And there we go. That's a simple and effective way to display a couple min, max, and average values for a couple different variables. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.